Let's edit some videos. Power. What's up guys, TJ here with another TJ's teacher's video. TJ, what is it called? TJ's tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm not talking about emotionally, guys. I'm talking about hit that like button if you like these types of videos. <laughs> also, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. That way you can get notifications whenever I release new content. So today I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, kind of a crash course of how to edit your YouTube videos. Uh, I'm going to show you first how to use, um, and this is all going to be on the PC because that's what I have. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about if you have a Mac. Uh, if you have a PC, you are going to have, you should have Windows Movie Maker already installed on your um, computer. If you don't, you can download that. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Just a little bit, just a quick and dirty, just, you know, how to do kind of transitions and things like that. Just to get you started with editing videos, I see a lot of YouTubers that post videos and you know they don't have uh, thumbnails or they have thumbnails but they're not like good thumbnails or and they don't edit their video any kind of way. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple things that I've learned on my journey, this YouTube journey. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to edit videos on Windows Movie Maker first. And um, if you have a PC, you know, you don't have a Mac, Windows Movie Maker, you will have Windows Movie Maker on your PC, you should. If you do not, I don't think I, I had it on mine, and I end up having to uh, go and download it. But you can download it if you have a PC for free. And this is basically it. So I'm going to go over a couple of little things that they have here. Uh, this is your home page. You can add your videos and everything and they'll add it down here in the uh, like clip section This is going to be a preview of what you're making now. I'm going to tell you this whenever you're editing your videos uh, It's not going to be high quality right here But when you render it and when you uh, make it into actually uh, to mp4 file it will uh Upload in HD quality, so don't worry because I had that worry when I was editing my stuff. I said, "Dang, this don't look like crap." <laughs> um, so anyway, you you will have some animations here for your transitions. I'm sorry, for your transitions, um, and they have some different ones that you can they pre-made that you can use over here. Uh, these are different visual effects you can have, so different colors and things like that that you can use for your video. Um, and I use this to, uh, like you can mix your audio, turn your audio up or down. Um, so you can have different tracks, uh, emphasize your video, emphasize your music. So it just bump up your, uh, audio in your video or audio on your uh, music track. Um, and you can do widescreen or standard. If you want to be uploading to YouTube, you need to keep it on widescreen. And this is just zooming in and out and thumbnail size. And you can have your preview screen in full view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of clips here. Hopefully my computer does not crash because it does not like me recording video or screen video and doing anything else. Let's see what we got in here. I've got a lot of raw footage. Okay, let's, uh, let's add that one. And we can add this one. Let's add both of these at the same time. All right, so automatically you see that it is going to prepare your files. It's going to take a while <clears throat> to prepare your files. So I'll come back when both the files are prepared. Okay, so all the files have loaded in, I believe. And I went ahead and added in my intro. And I'm going to show you um, how you can move that around. So this is a little intro that I made um on Panzoid. So if you want to know how to make these intros, uh, I did make a video about that and you can click up in the top right hand corner and it should have like a little card there you can click on to look at that video. Anyway, let's see. So this is the um, intro here. All right. So now we have three different clips here. So 
you know, now my intro is at the end and I need to put it at the beginning. So what I'll do is you can click and drag it up there to the front. So now you have that and you can add a, um, like a transition here. So, and it does preview it for you when you just hover over it. So anyway, if you want to add that to your video, you can, um, oh shoot. You can add that to your video by clicking on it and just add it like that. See how that does? So it's pretty neat. You don't have to click on anything. All you gotta do is hover over it and it will preview um, what that is. So let's put that right there. I like to fade to white. So we did that and let's see. So we'll look and see what we have so far. All right, so that was like a little bug that I made for before the video. So I'm gonna show you um, how to do a couple of things here. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut it right here, right? All right, so this is where I first start talking. So let me move the cursor here and we're gonna right click and we're gonna click uh, split. That's what you wanna do. You wanna split it right here, meaning that it's gonna split it in the middle and it's gonna have two different sides. So let's click split. Now you can see this is a clip by itself. Now what you can do, you can delete that and it will automatically move everything. So let's see what that looks like. Today I'm gonna to show you how to enter Amazon's gaming categories. Um, all right, so that's gonna be my bug before my intro. So what we'll do is we'll right click right here. We'll click split and we'll move that to the beginning. And let's go back here and see where we're gonna start our talking. All right, so this is my crazy what's up guys thing. So you go right there, you're gonna split it. We're gonna delete that little piece right there. And we're gonna delete that little piece right there. So now we have um, at the beginning of our video, look this. Today I'm gonna to show you how to enter Amazon's gated categories. I'm not sure why the music is not on my file, but whatever. What's up guys, CJ here with another fulfillment by Amazon video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm going to have... Uh, Alright, so you see right here, I'm, I'm, I'm about to mess up, I can tell. Look at this. Have, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, so what I do normally is, okay, so this, I know this is going to be a good one because I can see the audio. I go right here to where it's going to be a good cut. I go here and split and I go back to where I said today. About Amazon video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh All right. So I'm going to cut it right here at the, the good part. <laughs> we'll split it there and we'll delete this little bad part right here in the middle. So let's see what that looks like. What's up guys? CJ here with another video if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it today i'm going to talk about how to enter Amazon. now you see how this went from this clip to that clip smoothly like you never even know that all of that middle part even happened <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much it in terms of editing and cutting um the way i my editing style is normally when i do like a a, a cut or a split in between um i'll just do a blunt split so it'll be seamless and you know you can go you can really get in here really close and let's see so you can zoom in uh, you can zoom in and you can really get close you can actually delete words out of here you know if you want to take out the word uh i used to say uh a lot in my videos and i don't have to go through here and i'll take out every time i said uh and you can actually do that on this editing program uh so there you go uh <laughs> That should be it for Windows Media, uh, a Windows Movie Maker. Let's see, I'm gonna show you a couple of the effects that you can use. So these right here are gonna be the same way you can hover over them just to kind of get a preview. So that's a blur that you can use, some kind of cool edge detection. It's pretty good for black and white. I kind of like that one. 
Today I'm going today I'm going to talk about how to enter today I'm going to talk about today I'm going today I'm going to talk about how to enter Amazon's gated categories. Today I'm going to talk today I'm going to talk about today I'm going to talk about how to enter today I'm going to talk about how Now like that today one. Today I'm going to talk Today I'm going to talk about how to all right, so anyway, you can click on these and add them if you want. If you want to add that, you just click it, and it's going to add it to your clip right there. We appreciate it. Today, I'm going to talk about. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go through here. You can edit um, the darkness and the brightness of. You can't do like a lot of hard, uh, like color correction or anything like that on Windows Movie Maker. It's going to be pretty good just for cropping and editing your video and kind of rearranging things if you have things out of order. Uh, you can add music. Let's see if I can add some, some music here. Let's see. So it's going to default to your music folder. And I'm just going to add something that I've got downloaded. So you can see it added the track to the entire um thing so you can you can cut these just the same exact way that you cut your other stuff so let's see for some reason this part right here doesn't have any music in it so we'll go uh right here we'll split it and we'll delete that part and we will move it here so that the music comes in whenever that kind of fades out and we'll put another split here and i'm gonna tell you why we put that split here in a minute all right, so now we should have some music here in the middle. All right, so now you see it, it goes from my intro and it goes to this part, but it doesn't change the, um, the music sound. So you don't want it to be loud on the rest of your part. Now you can't ramp music uh, well, you can. You can ramp music up and down, but if you want to do just something kind of quick, you can go right here and you can click on um, like a fade out, maybe, for your uh, your audio. So let's see. All right, so right here we're gonna we're gonna change our volume. So you can just click on this right here, video or video volume that changed the overall volume. You can click on here for music. So they kind of edit it where, or they, they put it where you can see it visually. So green is going to be your green music here. Let's click on that. And what we'll do is we will change our music volume down some. I don't know how much you need it, but let's see what that sounds like. All right, so it's still a little loud. You can move it way, you know, way back, almost not on. And if you watch any of my old videos, you will see that some of my music is a little bit loud. And it's because you can only take it down so far on Windows Movie Maker. What's up, guys? TJ here with another favorite by Amazon video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to talk about... All right. And then, so, say, for instance, you wanted to uh, make your video volume uh, a lot bigger. Oh, God, what I do? All right. So you can go right here, you can click on video volume, you can pump up my talking, so maybe it'll kind of cancel out some of the music. Alright, so that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, a couple of things you can do is you can, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Because this video is lasting like five days, <laughs> like normal. Let's see, you go right here, you can split this and you can click on this. And if you want to make like a fast kind of montage right here, you can click on that. And you can click on speed and you can go, uh, you can speed this clip up and make it look kind of cool. So let's look at that. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you are new. You see how that did? So that's something kind of cool you can use. I use that normally for uh, if I'm showing somebody how to do something and I, you know, don't really necessarily need to show them everything. I can speed up parts of it and still show them, you know, how to do that. Uh, it does have a video stabilization that you can use. Um, I've never really had to use that before, uh, but it is there to use if you need to 
So that's really uh, pretty much it. When you get done with it, you can save your movie and you can put in whatever kind of form you need. If you're going to upload to YouTube, just do it in 1080p, high definition. You can upload it. Um, so that's pretty much it for Windows Movie Maker. Thanks guys for watching. On the next video, I am going to go a little bit more in depth with a uh, editing video on Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. So if you want to see that video, uh, just stay tuned. Thanks guys.